Very good afternoon to all. We are four persons coming from India, and we are happy to celebrate this Holy Eucharist in this holy place. We will be celebrating the Mass in English, but we will be singing some songs in our mother tongue called Malayalam. Let us begin together this Holy Eucharist. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, in order to celebrate this Holy Eucharist worthily, let us acknowledge our sinfulness and our, and our unworthiness before the Lord, and ask for pardon and mercy in order to celebrate this Holy Eucharist worthily. <coughs> I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned through my own fault in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. And I ask the Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord have, mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Father, you have given us the mother of your son to be our mother also. Grant us that by obeying the appeals of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may always work together prayer and penance for the kingdom of Christ and attain eternal happiness. We ask through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, saw a new heaven and new earth, the first heaven and the first earth, and disappeared now, and there was no longer any sea. I saw, I saw the holy city and the new Jerusalem coming down from God out of heaven, as beautiful as a bride, all dressed for her husband, then I heard a loud voice call from the throne, you see this city. Here God lives among men. He will make his home among them. They shall be his people, and he will be their God. His name is God with them. He will wipe away all tears from their eyes. There will be no more death and no more mourning or sadness. The word of the past has gone. Then the one sitting on the throne spoke. Now I am making the whole of creation new. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. You are the highest honor of our race. You are the highest honor of our race. May you be blessed, my daughter, by God most high beyond all women on earth and may the lord of and may the lord god be blessed the creator of heaven and earth you are the highest honor of our race the trust you have shown shall not pass from the memories of men but shall ever remind them but shall ever remind them of the power of god you are the highest honor of our race God grant you to the 
God grant you to be always held in honor and rewarded with blessings since you did not consider your own life when your nation was brought to his knees. You are the highest honor of our race. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Blessed are you, Virgin Mary, who believed that the promise made, made you by the Lord would be fulfilled. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to Glory you, to you O Lord. Lord. Near the cross of Jesus stood his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary of Magdala. Seeing his mother and the disciple he loved standing near her, Jesus said to his mother, Woman, this is your son. Then to the disciple he said, This is your mother. And from that moment the disciple made a place for her in his home. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, let us take a moment of silence as we are about to make our offering. Let us bring before the Lord all our, all our intentions, our prayers and petitions. As we heard in the, heard in the gospel today, St. John took Mother Mary into his own home, into his own heart. Today, when we are here in this blessed place, holy place, let us also take Mother Mary into our own homes, into our own lives, into our own life situations where we are. Mary can help us. Mary can intercede for us. We are not alone in our life journey. She will teach us to seek heaven. She will teach us to search for heaven. Our life on earth, or the aim of our life on earth is to reach heaven. And in this journey, only Mother Mary can help us. For this grace, let us pray today as we celebrate this Holy Eucharist, especially when we offer the bread and wine to the Lord. The Lord will turn this bread and wine into the body and blood of Christ Jesus. And as, we, as he does that, let us also ask to change our lives, transform our lives, that God, may can, God, may can, uh, God can take our life into his hands and lead us in the life to come. Kani vode swigari kename nirayumi jivida talatil sandosha sandava maliga Kani vode swigari kename Vai digantan tiru kai galil yendum na pava na patrampo Vai digantan tiru kai galil yendum na pava na patrampo 
Pray, brethren, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice with your hands. Lord, we offer you these gifts of reparation and praise, so that in celebrating this feast of the Blessed Virgin Mary, you may absolve us from our sins and guide our wavering hearts. We ask this in the name of Jesus the Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to be in thanks. Father, it is our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Through our beloved Son, Jesus Christ, he is the word through whom you made the universe, the Savior you sent to redeem us. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he took flesh and was born of the Virgin Mary. For our sake, he opened his arms on the cross. He put an end to death and revealed the resurrection. In this, he fulfilled your will and one for you, a holy people. And so we join the angels and the saints in proclaiming your glory as we sing. Osana, Yishanu Sadadam Osana, Osana, Osana Parishutan Parishutan Paramashatan Nirandaram Murangunu Vani Levam Iha Paramahila Bumagile Sura Mahimeyal Nirayunu Nirubhamame Osana, Yishanu Sadadam. Osana, Osana, Osana. Lord, you are holy indeed, the fountain of all holiness. Let your spirit come upon these gifts to make them holy, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Before he was given up to death, a death he freely accepted, he took bread gave you thanks. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, and said, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, 
he took the cup. Again he gave you thanks and praise, gave the cup to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. In memory of his death and resurrection, <coughs> we offer you, Father, this life-giving bread, this saving cup. We thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. May all of us who share in the body and bread of Christ be brought together in unity by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church throughout the world. Make us grow in love together with Francis, our Pope, Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have gone to their rest in the hope of rising again. Bring them and all the departed into the light of your presence. Have mercy on us all. Make us worthy to share eternal life with Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, with the Apostles, and with all the saints who have done your will throughout the ages. May we praise you in union with them and give you glory through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> Let us pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and grant us peace in our day, in your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lam gotas du nim sin vekti sunde derve eba me de shun sa Lam gotas du nim sin vekti sunde derve eba me de shun sa Lam gotas do nim sin vekti sin de derve, give uns dynam freedom.
This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring you eternal life.
Let us pray. Lord, having received with joy these heavenly sacraments, grant us, we pray, that they may lead us to eternal life, where we may rejoice forever with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of your Son and Mother of your Church, we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.